SandvoFlyHype.com here with Angel Heredia. Angel, we're here at the Wild Card. Started working with Jesus Cuellar. Talk to me about that. How you guys got together? How things are going so far? Everything's going good. Uh, got together because uh, you know I came down to visit uh, one of my friends in LA, Junior Chavez, and uh, then I had a few meetings with uh, a couple of promoters here in LA. So. Uh, I came by to visit Freddie, and, uh, and then Freddie saw me. He said, "Hey, man, I'm glad you're here. Now, I got you. To, I want you to hope, you know work Cuellar. I just got Cuellar. He's gonna fight in September, so yeah, we'd like you to work with him. So that's how we uh, that's how we click. You know? How's how's the work gone so far? I know he's, he's training so already. How's everything going? It's going good. Uh, with him, uh, he had already been training in Big Bear, just the fight postponed. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's in good shape. Basically, it's just uh, sharpening up certain details, more speed, a little more power. So he's doing well. He's, uh, he's pretty much adapting very fast in some of the exercises he's never done. So, But he's very uh, fast learning, and he's doing good. And I think uh, Fred and him having a real good chemistry together. You know, so that's important to us. Well. I know you always increase puncher's power. Cuellar is a guy that already has a lot of power in there. Do, do you still increase it, or do you work on other areas to, that, that he needs? Well, you can still increase the power but with him I would like to have more speed so mm. he'll be quicker and then you know carry the power that he already has obviously the, the impact is going to be a little bit harder mm -hmm. so yeah it's going to be on his benefit so yeah I can increase just a little more but I want to increase more speed more turnover on shoulders you know more explosions coming forward so it's going to be good yeah. you know when you work with different fighters a lot of them like you said they're not used to the the, the training regimen that you have what's 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 the why are some fighters so hard to adapt to the new Routines and the new exercises. Well, they used to, um, they used to doing the same thing, you know, like the movies, like Rocky Balboa movies, <laughs> run for two hours in the mountain, come back down. Yeah. Uh, you know, training systems, they always been there. You know, knowledge and science has always been there, and new studies every year that come out. And obviously, you have to understand that uh, when you have to make changes, you have to know that it's, you know, either you want to do it or you don't. And mm -hmm. Some athletes, they want to go ahead and change. Some boxers want to do, try new things. They want to do. Uh, different exercises like for example adapting weight training sessions into the boxing so a lot of still today a lot of athletes they're kind of afraid of the, of the weight lifting I don't blame any of you have to you have to know what you're doing mm. in the weights in order to, to to increase power and speed and not reduce speed and power you see what I mean so so yeah there's a there's a few people out there that sometimes they kind of hesitate but uh, once again you know as you can see a lot of boxes now not only in the US but all over the world now they're starting to adapt um, different exercises that before wasn't available now mm -hmm. they see and, and you know it's pretty good it's advancing little by little I know the fight that he was supposed to have was against Abner Morris um, and you dealt with a lot of fighters before and I mean with with you working with him and him not being with Freddie and changing basically his whole team around how do you see that fight going if that power to still take place I, uh, him and you know Morris is a good fighter he's quick he was one of the guys that he's uh, changed in the past uh, when I was with Marcus Matt is uh, contacting me, and I was gonna work with him before. This is quite a bit back, mm -hmm. and uh, and you know he's been in LA. He's been doing good routine, so it's not gonna be an easy fight. Matt is uh, comes to fight. He's very quick, very explosive, and Quiet is a very strong guy. He comes forward, you know. So I really think the, uh, I mean, it's hard to predict, you know, because you can say it's gonna happen. <laughs> but trust me, my guy's gonna be ready, and I'm sure Matt is gonna be ready, and it's gonna be a good fight. It's gonna be a very good, entertaining fight. You know, you said Freddie is the one that told you, you know, I want you to work with Cuellar. How did that make you feel, man? One, because it's Freddie Roach asking for your services, and two, because you've been on the opposite end of Freddie before. You guys have, you know, faced off each before. How, how, how's that whole situation? Well, you know, me and Freddie, we have a very good relationship. Uh, he's a real nice guy, uh, very uh, humble, you know. He's, uh, you know, sometimes when you don't know people, when you just read about people, or when you hear it about people, it's not the same when you interact with people, when you yeah. work with people. And he's a tremendous guy. I mean, we have a very good chemistry, and I'm very honored. I'm very honored for, for him to, to trust me with uh, to one of his fighters, and, you know, there's a few other fighters that might be start working soon. So, yeah, it feels very, uh, you know, very, very happy to be uh, working with a uh, good figure like Freddie, who's, uh, everybody knows him as well, as well, a uh, good trainer. And he's also adapting our conditioning, which he knows is yes, is part of boxing. Actually, in um, right here in a while, Jim is gonna mm. set up a conditioning area. He wants me to help him out to set it up and everything. So Man. it's gonna be good. So they're gonna add more stuff to the gym then. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be. I think it's in this area. It's a big room. So he's gonna adapt. Uh, he wants me to furnish it. In other words, he wants me to put the machines that the work, the ones that you know. He wants it to be right. So I'm gonna help him out with that. You know. 
sit, do you guys ever sit back and talk about the fights that you guys have had against Always, each other? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, does, how does that conversation Actually, go? That was, I was joking with him yesterday because uh, I heard Pacquiao might be fighting soon. Mm -hmm. So Marcus was supposed to fight Cotto, but I don't know if the fight's still on. I think it might be off. Yeah. And uh, and I told him, well, we, there's always a fifth fight. And he was like, yeah. So he, he likes that, but you know, you never know. We'll see what Marcus is. And, and I'm sure Pacquiao would take it in no time running right away. So, so yeah, it's, we joke a lot. And you know, there's all the fighters coming in soon. There's like, there's a few dates, uh, upcoming fights that are, the, the dates are, you know, kind of falling in now. So let's see. See what happens because I think Freddie might end up going to Philippines to train Pacquiao. So oh, okay. we might end up going at the with um, with Quay or some other fighters there. Oh, nice. Okay, so you guys are going to be, be able to go and train in the Philippines. Well, also. Th that's the plan, but yeah. you never know. Everything could, could change in a minute. You know? Yeah.